Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Kelsall and if you've seen my videos before I'm investigating the Mark of the Beast. So, straight ooh, straight to it. Um, I was in Asda the other day here in England and Asda is owned by Walmart and um, I went to Walmart last year in Florida whilst on holiday and their tills are pretty much the same sort of thing that we have here in the UK. I went into Asda the other day and the first thing I noticed was they had redone the entire tills, put new systems in place, all separated by these dividing screens for um, um, this COVID malarkey, what's going off. And the first thing I noticed was a camera. Well, not the camera, but the on screen, it shows you your face. They're recording your face. And I've done some research into this, and apparently it's some kind of security measure anti-theft sort of thing and that's the reason behind it I am very suspicious but anyway on to more um, important things the next thing I realized was I looked down to the left if you look here where my uh, mouse pointer is I thought what the heck is that on the left hand side of the screen there is a little symbol I took a photograph and this is pretty much the best thing I can get but now I'm looking at it I think it's quite blurred so the next time I go in uh, I'm going to take another photograph um, and try and get a clearer view uh, because I've been trying to find this symbol online. If you know where this symbol is online, where I can look into it more, please do let me know. I've looked. Uh, the makers of this till are um, here. We go. I found one online from Walmart. So it's pretty much this. This is Walmart in America. These are the same machines that we have in the UK, except for this terminal is different. But anyway, the symbol is down here. Look. I just noticed it's got a camera. It's got actually camera thing there we have a light on showing that you've been recorded incidentally this till is if you look <laughs> it says insert your windows insulation disc windows the uh, former bill gates company surprise surprise anyway so this symbol down here this is what i'm concentrating on um whilst trying to uh, bring up this um logo some strange things have been going on with my computer i don't, I don't know why i tried to open um this picture and in Illustrators, I can't believe this has ever happened before where I've opened an image in Illustrator and I get this it is highly strange really really strange that this would happen I just don't know why um, I don't know if it's something in that or what it's like some kind of gibberish computer code when I opened it up in in, um, in Adobe Illustrator which is uh, it was this image I opened up and it turned up like that and it's like what the heck man so this is why I've got um, pictures of a place because they would not open up in in Mac Preview either. This uh, preview thing, so I don't know what's going on. Um, but anyway, this symbol back onto it. I'll try to make this quick. This symbol is, if you look, it's got like a screen on the outside. And it's got a hand and the thumb sticking out and four fingers, and it's like showing like some kind of motion as though you would move your hand from left to right across a screen and i can't f seem to find out at all oh and the one i looked at as well this not the image picks it up um it's like right near the thumb there's like a slight little bit of a white dot i'm not sure if it's a printing area error or if it's supposed to be like that that's what i'm trying to find an actual graphic of this logo to take a look at and got some kind of cuff going on there um, now, what does this mean? Does it mean, if it, I mean, as a graphic designer, I'm thinking if this is supposed to represent um, an item of shopping in someone's hand, then why is the hand not grasping anything? It's an open hand. Uh, that you, when I get the logo in the next video, hopefully, uh, you can see in between the fingers the the hand is spread out uh, as though the hand is being used for payment, as though there are some kind of chip, mark, or unknown. Um, technology um, used here to actually motion your hand ac across the glass and make a payment aka the mark of the beast um, strange things have been happening while I've been um, um, thinking about doing this video uh, if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time um, bolts for some reason are featured heavily in my investigation they've got something to do with the mark of the beast go check out my video um, the testimony of the of the bolts. I re-released it on this channel if you want to look into that And again, I'm reminded about this when I was in the shed the other day. I had to cut these big um, bolts down um, and they um, Where's my photograph? There we go. I'm sorry. So so um, 
jumbled up this video is because my preview app, like I say, is not working. So anyway, and they both fell at my feet. That's another feature of these years. I've been I've been investigating this now eight years. And it's been a common feature that uh, bolts fall at my feet <laughs> when I'm investigating the mark of the beast and stuff like that. And it is really, really strange. Uh, where's this um, other picture? No, not that one. So I've done that. I've done that. Where is it? I've done that one. I've done that one. There we go. So, um, yesterday, my son's, well, about three days ago, my son's uh, MacBook Pro um, broke. His hard drive went, so I added a, another hard drive, and it came in a, a couple of days. And he took a photograph of the inside of it. There's me, and um, sat down fixing it. So I, I replaced this this part of it, and my son took this picture of the inside of his computer, which is uh, rather dusty. And I thought, you know, there's something in this that I'm investigating the market beats. I've got big bolts fell out my feet. Whilst replacing this hard drive, I lost this tiniest little screw, spiral screw, and again fell at my feet. And whilst doing this, I noticed that again that the um, there was dust all over the fan. Let's pay some attention to the fan. And this spiral uh, spinning thing uh, symbol is a mark that I investigated uh, in regards to the market beast. It reminds me of the Ken Peters. Uh, symbol that he saw in between the finger and the thumb on someone's hand. So I don't know if there's a strange weird connection there. And also um, on this I've got the warning uh, warning symbol which also features underneath on the till. And um, I'm just going to pause the video just to bring something that just come to my mind. Pause. Right, am I back on this recording? Let's see. Yeah. So this is the word that um, my good friend, Pastor Patrick Winfrey, um, he sent to me, so here I put it on the 6th of March, now four years ago, that's over four years ago, and he sent to me this word from the Lord, uh, I think it'll be okay uh, with me reading it out, he does words for a lot of people, you know, live in his videos, so this, is, so this is the word for me, and I totally and utterly forgot about that, that I had this word, I was starting to reject uh, sort of reject this word that read that word. I was starting to again doubt my calling in this and thinking, you know, should I continue to do this investigation? And every time I start that kind of mindset, um, the law keeps encouraging me. So anyway, I launched uh, this notes app on my Mac after updating it. For some reason, after the thousands of notes I have, this one came on screen with the top one. But I don't know why this one appeared right in front of me, and I do believe it's from the Lord reminding me what he said to me, which is, trivialize is my message, rejected has been my words, know that when the world rejects you, it has rejected me also. Atop the mountain, atop the house, I gather my people, up on the rooftops, shout what I whispered in your ear, doubt not, delay not, go forth in care with, of my words. I'll get to that last part in a second. But anyway, seeing those exclamation warning marks and then going reading this saying shout what I whispered in your ear I do feel as though I need to give like some kind of warning about this that uh, this thing that is um, what the heck this thing this symbol this technology that's coming in and I do believe it is directly related to the market beast this could actually be in my opinion a, a symbol um, what's going to be utilized to show people when they get the mark of the beast, the ones who take it, and they're you know, pretty much damned to hell for all eternity, the people who sadly take this mark, this is um, here um, an illustration showing how it can be used. And I can't find this mark anywhere online. I've gone; these tills are made by uh, NCR. I've gone to the NCR website. I can't find anything about it. If you do find something about it, please let me know. I mean, this is just my you know opinion on the matter, but. Uh, you know, I just feel as though the Lord is leading me to issue a warning about this. Um, I mean, I don't know when the tribulation is going to start. I mean, for all I know, 10, 20 years goes by and, you know, there, there is talk from other prophets of a great revival coming. And I think that's brilliant. So all this kind of thing, even though the enemy is trying to set all this in place, is ultimately it's up, it's up to the Lord, you know, when the tribulation starts and when the mark of the beast comes in. It's all up to the Lord. So even though these things you know, been put in place by the enemy. You know, the enemy's been held back. It's all up to the Lord when he allows, you know, the, the enemy to, ha to have their way. 
even though I'm issuing a warning, we can still pray against this, pray against the mark of the beast coming in yet, pray for revival, pray for more time, you know. So um, that's where I am at the moment. And just really briefly onto the last part of this, you know, go forth in care of my words. You know, again, Pastor Patrick Winfrey, uh, I was watching a video the other day, and he issued a warning uh, the, um, the other day about people saying that the word of the Lord has changed uh, due to um, something called the mandala effect. And it reminded me that, um, I think about a year ago or so, I did a video about, about this um, mandala effect. And my video was a debunking video, you know, agreeing with Pastor Patrick Winfrey. And I was pretty much saying in the video, the, the word of the Lord has not been changed. This alleged mandala effect has not changed the words of God. That cannot be done. Um, and I was pretty much trying to relate to people who might be interested in the Mandela Effect. They're, they're searching Mandela Effect on, on YouTube, and I want, you know, to pretty much, you know, um, give my opinion and take on it as a born-again Christian. You know, telling people, you know, that the word of the Lord has not been changed. However, it was only about a month after making that video, maybe less, I actually took the video down and I made it private because I felt uneasy about it because... In that video, even though I pretty much debunked it all, all these things that came across, I did present um, a curiosity that I found in my life in regards to it. And I was just trying to relate to people, you know, um, but maybe, you know, something didn't sit right in my spirit about it after releasing the video, and that's why I took it down. Um, so, it's not my intention. I don't want to go into it, but uh, I did present, even though I debunked it all, I did present a curiosity uh, at the same time. And I think I went down a rabbit hole, uh, which I should not have really gone down. It's really a deviation from what I'm doing here, uh, you know, investigating the mark of the beast. And I believe the Lord has called me to, you know, stay on track and just concentrate on this and stop <laughs> veering off. So it was never my intention to lead anyone astray in in uh, what I said in that video. Uh, so I just want to make a, a public repentance on that. And um, just to clarify again, I do not believe in the Mandela effect. I was just trying to relate to people, uh, debunk what people are saying about the Bible, but um, I think I veered off in in some kind of weird rabbit hole near the end. And if I if you've watched that video, um, never my intention to lead you astray. Do not believe in the Mandela effect, and you know what you need to do if you're not a Christian, especially just just get your head into God's Word and start reading the Gospels, especially. And um, I mean, I have lots of curious things, you know, lots of curiosities. Um, I would like to know about, you know, but, you know, I think while on this earth, some things that you really, unless the Lord is leading you, shouldn't look into and talk about, you know, many things, many subjects, what people present in these in these final days. And I've got a list of questions which I will be asking the Lord in heaven <laughs> while I've got eternity. And I think there's some things, you know, you, you don't get the answer to. It's like trying to answer, you know, the question, you know, where does God come from? It's like... You cannot answer that question in the human mind in our present state. No point going down rabbit holes trying to answer that one. Just unless, you know, the Lord is leading you to, <laughs> in my opinion, things like that, you'll not understand until you get into eternity. And you just make sure you're saved, believe in Jesus Christ, accept what he did for you on that cross at Calvary 2,000 years ago. And other questions and curiosities, make sure it doesn't interfere. Uh, with your walk with the Lord. Because we all make mistakes. I think I made a mistake on this video. That's why I took it down. So again, I repent. Do not to mean to lead anybody astray. If you did watch that video, and you know, just, just message me or whatever if you've got any concerns. So thanks again for watching. The Lord will lead. I'll make another video. I'm wanting to look into this because I have actually now, I'll not get into it now, I've got another really critical piece of information about it as well um, that I'd like to bring up. And, and I can't... I can't believe, actually, what <laughs> what I've discovered. But, you know, if you do not uh, yet subscribe, please subscribe to this video and, uh, and like it as well. It'll really help, you know, and share it. So, God bless. Thanks for watching. And Lord willing, I'll see you in the next video.